setting up OneDrive and enabling your Microsoft account. So a couple of things here. One is OneDrive is of course not signed in and I'm going to sign in here in just a moment. But the other thing to notice is that uh, there are actions recommended by the uh, Windows Defender Security Center. And those are <laughs> A, to set up OneDrive, for backup, but the other is to sign in to Microsoft for um, so-called enhanced security. Uh, both of those should get rectified simply by setting up OneDrive. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in to OneDrive with my Microsoft account. Go ahead and have it send a notification to my phone. That was the sound of my phone saying, I have a notification for you and I'm clicking on Approve on my phone. And there we are. You'll notice, by the way, that in doing so, I've not used a password, even though my account does have a password. I'm gonna go ahead and leave OneDrive in its location. This is, of course, the introductory material uh, telling you about OneDrive. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the OneDrive folder, and you can see that things are starting to download. Now, I do make heavy use of uh, what's called selective sync in some applications. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, to begin, we'll go to settings, choose folders. So right now, everything is visible on demand. So that means essentially that um, all of these folders will show up, but um, any files within them will not be downloaded or actually not take up space on my machine until I actually reference them, until I actually try to use one. Files on demand is the feature that allows OneDrive to set up its entire directory structure without actually deleting the files until I need them. And there's my account. Folders that I want to have available on this PC, I'm going to have all of them visible, but not all of them downloaded. Autosave. Um, is if it uh, if I connect a phone or something or a camera to my uh, PC, it would automatically upload things to my OneDrive, which I don't do. I actually do that um, with a different service. Same thing with screenshots. The screenshots I make in Windows, I'm not going to save in OneDrive. I save those a different way. Network, um, I don't need to limit the up and the download rate. You may need to or want to, depending on just what your internet connection is like. Uh, Microsoft Office is available, and um, if I uh, if there's a duplicate update problem, I have this option to uh, merge the uh, the updates that are there. But essentially, that's it. I now have um, Microsoft OneDrive installed on my system and ready to go. You'll notice that there is one encrypted folder here. Uh, that is a Boxcryptor folder that is part of my OneDrive installation. If I now go to my previously installed Boxcryptor and take a look at OneDrive, you'll see that um, it's actually there, this folder called Boxcrypt Encrypted, uh, even though I have nothing in it right now. And if we go back to Windows Defender, we um, have installed OneDrive, so it's happy with that. And we'll go ahead and sign in to my Microsoft account. This time, it actually requires a password. And we will, again, need another approval on my mobile device for two-factor authentication. Now what we've done, the reason that I point this all out to you is that by doing so, we have now changed the login for this Windows machine. This machine now uses my Microsoft account as the login account. I am going to create a pin. I use that on several of my other machines. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I am now running with OneDrive and 
has changed to a Microsoft account for my login.